What's up guys? Mad Fragger back again. I got another fragrance review video for you and today I got a really good one so stay tuned. Um, I know a lot of you have heard the term gatekeeping used before and if you're not aware of what it means um, it is this idea that you can be so selfish that you don't let people know what a great fragrance that you're wearing. You don't let them know what it is so that you can be the only one that gets a chance to smell so good. Um, but here, we don't take too kindly to them notions around these parts. So I'm going to let you guys know today about a fragrance that is, in my opinion, a hidden gem. I don't use that term very often. I don't use it very uh, loosely. But when I've got a hidden gem and what I'm convinced is a hidden gem, I'm going to share it with you guys. And this is a fall, winter, cool weather banger. And I just want to share this with you guys. Like this is one that I would encourage anybody to pick up and try, especially those of you who are not afraid to explore a fragrance that's a little bit more challenging. And also uh, it is a you know, got a lot of, um, there's a definite leather presence in this fragrance. Let's just say that. And it can be subjective, but this is one that I really encourage you guys to try because it is awesome. It is a hidden gem in my opinion, and it is a banger. And that is going to be Latafa Cherie. And here is the fragrance. The bottle looks crazy. The cap is huge. And as big as the cap is, it does, it is really light. It's a light plastic cap. Um, and the bottle, now when you look at this bottle, it doesn't look like it's 100 mil, but it is in fact a 100 mil bottle. It's just most of it is covered up by this, you know, gold here. And, um, and then on top of the uh, bottle going around, you got Eau de Parfum, um, you know, Latafa, 100 mil, right there on the uh, top. And like I said, a giant oversized cap with the Latafa logo on the top. Um, this fragrance here is one that I do not have the box. I don't have full presentation on this one. This is one that I bought from a buddy of mine who does decants. And he was getting rid of some uh, fragrances that uh, he was kind of stepping away from the decanting uh, business. And he was getting rid of some fragrances. And I picked up maybe four or five from him. And this was one of them. And I'm so glad that I ended up getting this thing. Now, if you go and look at this fragrance, if you go and look for this, for reviews on this, you're not gonna find a whole lot of reviews on it. I mean, and I hate to discount anybody's channel because it's challenging to try to get on here and describe fragrances and you know tell people about fragrances. It is, uh, it can be a bit challenging and anybody who's doing it, I commend you, but there are certain review channels on YouTube, on TikTok that are a little more well-recognized, well-known, and none of those channels have done reviews on this thing that I could find. Um, just some of the more kind of, I guess, like I'm going to use this term obscure, like what my channel is. Like not many people watching here. Uh, I've probably got the most obscure fragrance review channel that I've seen. Um, but yeah, this one here... Uh, Man, I hope that uh, I hope that some people watch this video and take a chance on this one because this is one that I really feel like uh, I would love everybody to have a chance to experience, especially in the fall and winter weather because this is absolutely fantastic for that. Um, I will give you the notes listed on this and then I'll let you know like what I get out of it. But the notes listed are cinnamon, oud, and saffron in the top. And then you got sandalwood and rose in the mid, and incense, leather, vanilla, amber, and musk in the base. Now, this fragrance is going to be, if you're familiar with Latafa Kamra, if you're familiar with um, Latafa Kaid, the original Kaid, um, it's going to be kind of similar to those. It's going to be in that vibe. And... Uh, Actually, I have seen it um, compared to a couple designer fragrances. And if you had to say that this was, or rather, a niche fragrance, 
if I had to say that this was a um, fragrance that was inspired by something, okay, from what I could gather, what I could find out, this is closely resembling Irish, or, yeah, Irish leather by Memo Paris. So if you want to call it a clone of Irish leather, leather, fine. If you want to say it's inspired by Irish leather, fine. But what I'll say to you is that this one here, to me, smells similar to, but not exactly, of course not, you know, of course not the same, but similar to in the, in the ballpark of a fragrance like I mentioned, um, Kai from Latafa, um, and a well-known fragrance, Kamra. Now, this isn't going to have quite the sweetness of Kamra, although there is some good sweetness in here. There is some sweetness here, um, but it's not going to be like Kamra. And just remember, I'm saying that it's similar to and has kind of a vibe of Kamra. I'm not trying to tell you this is like, you know, that close to Kamra that if you had this one, it would be redundant uh, if you have Kamra, because that's not the case. Um, this is a fragrance that opens up really spicy. Um, it's got a lot of bite to it. And when I say bite, I don't mean harshness or uh, anything off-putting. I just mean it's got some really rich spice. And even though cinnamon is really the only spice that is listed in the note break breakdown for this, um, it doesn't come off as just cinnamon. It comes off as just a really, like robust spiciness and then you're gonna get like um what you get is that rose and the sandalwood kind of balance out that spiciness and kind of like round it out and um you know it's such a it's such a sharp and such a poignant kind of spiciness in here that you had to have like the softness of the rose and the creaminess of the sandalwood to kind of bl blend together and balance everything out here, and it does that beautifully. Um, there's definitely a notable sandalwood note in here, and then you get some vanillic kind of sweetness um, coming through, like a little bit into the dry down. You start to get a little sweetness, and there is a booziness to this fragrance. There's a significant booziness. And what the booziness that I get out of this is cognac. And even though there's no cognac or no boozy notes in this fragrance, um, if you look into what you're kind of like, what the notes are that you're going to smell in a fragrance, I mean, I'm sorry, in a beverage like cognac, in the, in the actual cognac, uh, the drink, um, they're very similar. Uh, you're in the in cognac. You're going to get notes of sandalwood. You're going to get florals. Um, there's similar things going on in the way that cognac smells to the notes and the smell that you're going to find in this fragrance. And I believe that that's kind of replicating this booziness that you get out of this fragrance, especially in the dry down here. And this thing is just, it's got an absolutely wonderful scent profile. The leather in here, although it is prominent, and although you can tell that it's a leather fragrance, it's a wearable leather. It's like a smooth, creamy, wearable style of leather that's not going to be too overbearing or off-putting. I think even somebody who's not a big fan of leather fragrances per se... Uh, would be able to enjoy this fragrance, honestly, um, because the leather is not like overbearing here, but it does have a presence and it does have a place in the fragrance alongside everything else that's going on here. And it just comes together so magnificently. This fragrance scent, scent profile in this fragrance is magical. It is really, really great, especially in cool weather. Matter of fact, this is one that I would say is predominantly just a cool weather, cold weather type of fragrance. Like, I would never wear this one, you know, unless it was at least cool out. Uh, now, if you're in a climate controlled environment, just like any fragrance, if you're in a climate controlled environment and you plan on being in that environment for most of your day, then you know, whatever. It doesn't matter, I guess, what the weather is outside. But if we're talking about the weather outdoors, 
this is really good for cool weather for winter and uh, fall weather. But let me tell you another thing about this fragrance that's impressive other than the scent profile, and that is the performance. The performance on this, now hold on, before I get started on telling you the performance, let me just interject here. The price of this fragrance is $20 and below. It's like sub 20, usually around 20, no more than 25. I mean, uh, usually this is like around that $20 mark. So it is a budget fragrance, and what you get in this fragrance in scent profile and performance to the price is absolutely phenomenal. The performance on this is excellent. It has great projection. It has very good longevity. We're talking like eight hours plus range, and actually for me, off of my skin, and I'm being 100% honest, I've wore this fragrance several times. It's not like I just picked this one up. I've had this one for about a year now. And whenever I've worn this fragrance, it has been 10 plus hours on my skin and sometimes pushing. And I'm the, when I say 10 plus hours, I don't mean you're still going to be able to detect it after 10 hours. I mean, 10 hours later, this fragrance is still pushing. This fragrance is still giving you wafts. This fragrance is still doing its thing. Maybe not, of course, not as, you know, uh, briskly as it was near the beginning of the life of the fragrance, but it still pushes near the end and it lasts forever. It's going to last, I don't know how long on clothes, um, a long time on clothes, but if you wear this fragrance, if I put this on in the morning, if I put this on right now and I didn't take a shower tonight, tomorrow at this time, this fragrance would still be pushing off of me, like a, enough that I would still kind of pick up whiffs of it. And in the deep dry down of this one, it has this marvelous, boozy, rich, deep kind of like uh, thing going on that this would be absolutely wonderful for a date night, like when you're going to be up and close and personal with somebody. But it is a very strong and very like bold fragrance in the beginning. So I would suggest that if you were going to wear this fragrance to like go out with friends or to like go on a date or go like out on the town, which is what this is mostly I feel is most appropriate is this is like a going out evening kind of fragrance. Um, I would say like, you know, spray it on like maybe about a half hour, at least an hour maybe before you go do your thing. And yeah, it's gonna stick with you the whole time. Now, if you wanna just wear this fragrance casually, um, nobody's saying you can't do that. Uh, you know, you wear your fragrance how you wanna wear your fragrance, when you want, where you want, whatever. But my opinion and my suggestion is night out or date night kind of deal, evening fragrance for sure, cold weather, cool cold weather for sure. And this thing is a banger. Um, I use the term, I use hidden gem for this, uh, and I'm very firm on that term here because this isn't one that I see talked about a lot. This isn't one that you see reviewed a lot and one that you, you know, that you get, that gets a lot of hype, um, really at all. Like, I don't see any hype on this at all, and, but it deserves it. It really does. I really wish that people would get their nose on this and, like, really, you know, like, get a chance to experience what's going on with this thing. And uh, it would be so cool to see this, like get the attention and recognition that it really deserves because it is an unbelievable fragrance for the fall winter. And it's got excellent performance and the scent profile on this is so great, especially if you like deep, rich kind of, um, you know, spicy, bold fragrances that, uh, that have some like real character and some real like... Um, like just the aura around this thing is incredible. So that's Latafa Cherie, in my opinion, a great hidden gem budget fragrance. Um, pick this up uh, 20 bucks and less. I'm the Mad Fragger. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys, uh, you know, take my advice on this one and give it a shot. Um, pick this up and try it. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Thanks for watching my video. I will see you next time.